My name is Elena Fallon and this is my movement analysis video for SPM 538. More specifically, I've decided to take a look at the forehand volley in tennis. The forehand volley is one of the most common shots hit by a tennis player at the net. It is a compact shot that involves accurate placement to push the tennis ball where a player wants it. My first video is an instructional video in which I will explain some key points for executing a proficient forehand volley. In this first video, the player begins his approach to the net and reaches the split stance ready position. His dominant hand is at the bottom of the grip and eyes are on the ball to anticipate his opponent's shot. Next, he begins to turn his shoulders to the ball and opens up his racket, keeping it flat. Next, he extends his elbow and steps forward towards the ball at the same time to make contact with the ball. He finishes his volley, keeping his wrist totally locked as his weight transfers forward. Video number two is of an athlete who cannot perform at the proficient stage yet. As we look at this video, we will find the key strengths and weaknesses and look to fix some of the mistakes. In the athlete's approach to the net, he does not settle his feet into a split stance ready position. His racket is at his side rather than up in front of his body. He does a nice job turning his shoulder to the ball with his racket head flat and his eyes on the opponent's shot. He does extend his elbow to make contact with the ball, but fails to step forward with his opposite foot towards the ball. The athlete continues to swing using movement of the wrist. Let's watch the pre-practice video one more time. Now let's discuss some of the athlete's key strengths and weaknesses. The athlete does a nice job keeping his eyes on his opponent. This is great because it allows him to anticipate his opponent's shot and move his body accordingly. The athlete also does a nice job keeping the head of his racket flat. Finally, another strength of the athlete is the way he extends his elbow with his racket head flat to meet the ball and volley it over the net. I have also picked up on a few key weaknesses in the athlete and hope to give him some feedback to improve. The athlete's approach to the net is a bit sloppy as he is holding the racket down at his side in one hand and fails to reach the split stance position. I will work with him to improve this approach and hit the split stance position as this really makes sure the rest of the volley works. Next, I will work with the athlete on his step with opposition as he extends his elbow to make contact with the ball. This will create a much more explosive volley. And finally, I will work with the athlete to make sure his wrist stays firm even after contact is made with the ball, as there should be no action of the wrist during a volley. The third and final video in this movement analysis involves our athlete from video number two performing the forehand volley again after some feedback and some practice. We will be able to highlight some differences in skill performance between videos number two and three. In this post-practice video, the athlete now approaches the net with two hands on his racket to reach the split stance ready position. His eyes are on the ball as he turns his shoulders and his racket head is flat. He steps forward with his opposite foot and extends his elbow to volley the ball over the net. The athlete keeps his wrist firm as his weight transfers slightly forward. There is an obvious improvement in the athlete's performance from video number two to video number three. The athlete does a much better job with his approach to the net to hit the split stance. He also does a better job holding the racket up at his chest level with two hands on the grip. This will ensure he is ready to move towards the ball. The athlete also does a nice job stepping with opposite foot as he extends his elbow to hit the ball. And finally, the athlete keeps his wrist firm on the push forward. Let's watch this post-practice video one more time. 